Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the code forces problem, problem C, social distance from the code forces around 650. So we can read the question statement, but in simple terms, it states that you are given an arrangement in that you are given, like you can assume there's a table, a straight table in which due to uh, it is given that a person can be sitting there on that table or a person will not be sitting on that table. It has some initial arrangement. Okay, so initial arrangement is given to you such that there are some person sitting on the table or not. If it is not sitting at zero, if some person is sitting on a table, it's one. Okay, then you are given some key. Key means that the next person should should sit at least k distance from that person from both sides. Okay, so as you can see, if k is equal to two, then there should be a gap of two tables and then the next person should be there. There can be a gap of more than but it should be at least two. So there is one person sitting here and person has a gap of two then gap of three is good. One person sitting here and a gap of two is there. So it's fine. But in this, this there should be a gap of two. So this is not allowed. In this, this is not allowed and this is also not allowed. So as you can now understand the question statement, you're given a string and it has zeros and ones and uh, uh, Initially, the string which is given to you is good. It means that uh, it satisfies the condition that every person is sitting such that there should be at least a, a difference of k. Okay, now what you do have to, you have to put some one, you have to fill some tables such that you do not broke the condition. Whenever you put a one, it, it should be such that, that there should be some k distance, there should not be any person sitting. Okay, so now you have to fill the table according to this constraint and you have to output out how many numbers you can put on the or how many num people can sit on the table such that it doesn't violate, violate the condition. So I hope you understand the question now. Move down to the solution part. So you can think about it. But uh, you can solve it using two pointers because you want a segment of size 2 into k plus 1. What, what does this mean? Because let's say there is a person sitting here. There is one here. And it is a size of k equal to 1. Now there should not be one person here. There should not be one person here. Okay. So this whole segment should be first looked. There can be 1, 1, 0 here. But we don't matter. We first have to look at this segment in which we have to first assure that there should be two zeros here only. Then only this person can sit here. Okay. So if all of them are zero, we are looking at a segment of size 2k plus 1, which is if k is equal to 1, then there should not be one person sitting k to the left of this and there should not be person k to light of it or, or so on. And then you have to fill all these positions. Okay. So what you can do here is, you can check for every k segments and fill it. Okay, so what you can do here is you can make a what you can do you can make a window of size k and you have to iterate over it. Okay, so in this the window size is equal to one. So what you will do here is you will iterate from left to right and you will first uh, mark out the size of the k window. You can make a total variable which will tell us how many sitting persons are sitting in this window of size k. If the whole window is empty, which means that there is no person sitting in this window, then only we can put some person there. Okay. So if the window size is one and uh, let's assume this is the window first. This is the first window, which is the window size should be equal to 2k plus one, which is three because there is one person sitting here. How we can find out we can do a prefix sum. We can do we can iterate from i equal to k and then store uh, if 1 we can increment our count to 1 or if it's 0 we can decrement or we can not change and then we can find out the total sum from this to this which is equal to 1. Okay, because it is not 0 we cannot fill any person here. Now we want to move our window from this position to this position. How we can do this? We will have to subtract the last person and add this person. So how we can subtract this person? We can go k position back. See if it's one, subtract it. If it's zero, it will stay like this and we will increment this person position such that we will now get away from this window. Okay, this window is 
deleted. Now we are on this window, which is this. Now the total sum is zero. As now we can see the total sum is zero, what we can do here is we can put one person here. We will increment our total to one. We will update our string, put put one here. And now as we can see, thus the total sum of this window would be because we have added one that the total of this window should become equal to how much? It should become equal to one now because we have added one person. It will help us to ensure that we, they, if there is there are two zeros, like it is such like that and k equal to one. We will first talk about this window. Then if we talk about this window, then what will happen? We will put one person here and we increment our total. Now when we move to this window, we will again count it and we will increment our person to two. But only one person can sit here. Okay. Like let's assume there is there is one here also. There is one here. Then you can you will take two, but only one person can sit here. Okay, if you put one here, then this is violated. If you put one here, then this is violated. So that's why what you'll do is whenever you find a uh, like whenever you find a window, always mark the middle of it to be one, and do the same process. The total will become equal to one, and thus whenever you again find a total window sum equal to zero, just mark the middle of it one and continue your process. So this is one one uh, observation you have to note down. But let's assume there is only there is only two zeros and k equal to five. Now what you'll do, you, you will see that because the window size is just so small, you cannot take a window. Okay, so like you will not know how to add this because the window size is very, very large and the total number is very small. So in this case, what you'll do here is you will iterate because so what you'll do because for the first and the last person, if it's zero, then there is one condition you can see that because for the first person we are talking about every person in the intermediate case the segment size equal to 2k plus 1 but for the last person the segment size is equal to k only why because there is no person sitting here if we take a for this person the segment size equal to 3 then it will be very large but we can if this is only 0 0 we can put one person here and it will be fine again so that's what the case here is for the first person and for the last person if they are zero what we can do here is we can move k steps ahead and we will check whether we will k steps or if it end earlier we can only go to that tell that many steps if it's size 2 and k equal to 5 we will only go to the end and we will check that everything is zero if everything turns out to be zero we can put at least one person there and and also after putting one person always update the value so as you can see if k equal to 2 we go two steps ahead there is no person we will make this one now do the same for this person we will go two steps ahead we will say that there is no person make this equal to 1 now our new string become 1 0 0 0 4 zeros 1 now what you can do now you can do this thing take a segment of size 5 because 2k plus 1 and check whether you can put any person uh, in the sec in the segment in the segment size of 5 you can you can put some person in the middle or not so that's what we're gonna check because we cannot put if we put one person here then the difference of this is not 2 if we put one here difference of no is 2 not 2 so we can only do this with using two pointers what till I have told you just take two pointers uh, just first make a window of size equal to k and check whether whenever its size become equal to 0 put the first value middle element equal to 1 and continue the process it will become more clear with the code now so I have taken our input of n and k this is string input this is the total this is the segment which I have told you and this is the value then what we will do here is first we will first do the for the first and the last index if the first index is 0 then what we will do here is we will go to the minimum of k or n minus 1. We will not go out of bound. We will only go if the k minus 1, the last index or this index which is given. And we will add the total of all the characters. 
if everything turn out to be zero what we will do we will increment our total how many changes we want how many person can sit and we will make the first value equal to 1 we will do the same for the last we will so let's assume there is also one more case as you can see there is so if there is 0 0 0 okay and k equal to let's assume 2 okay now or k equal to 5 if you put one person here if you don't update these steps now if you again do it from the back you will if you don't update this it will re remain to be zero whenever you go from start to bottom you will see everything zero if you go from back to front everything is zero so you will make it twice that's why for everything you will just update it equal to one such that when you go from back to front there is one person sitting here and you will not take it twice that's why i updated here and same for the back you go from case person's back or zero go to the maximum of it and increment our total if total equal to zero break out then we will do it for every sub segment initialize total again to zero go we will go our loop from i till everything we will go for everything if we will increment our total we will increment our total we will only do this process if our window is created and when our when our window is created if we go like if our i becomes greater than our segment value if our i become greater than our segment value then oh, then only we are ensured that our window is created because we don't have to first make the sum of all the windows and then iterate over every window what you can easily do here is you can go only only go in one loop increment the total elements so, so that if you are on the one you will increment if you are on zero you don't increment and you will go on till you hit a point such that the segment size if i is greater than equal to segment size segment is just equal to 5 if you hit the segment size you are ensure that our segment is created now now we will check that if as the segments the total is equal to segment what we will do here is we will increment our value because everything is zero now we can put a person in the middle and then we want to put the person in the middle the segment size is 2 into k uh, plus one the person because the size is 2k as you can see this is person this is 1k and this is also 1k the middle is actually keep keep uh, persons behind that's why i put the middle which is just i minus k this is the middle and we will increment equal to one we will make it equal to one and what we will do here is we will increment our total because we have added one person in this window we will increment our total which is the total size of this window and Whenever we want to move our window to the next position, what we will do, we will we will check the sec the last element of the segment. If it's zero, we can we will not do anything. Okay, we will not subtract anything. But if the last element of the segment is equal to one, we will decrement our total because now we want to shift our segment to one place ahead. So how we will shift this one place ahead? We will check the last position of the segment. If it's equal to one, we will subtract it, and then we will come out of this. If loop and then we will again add a new position that's why this for loop will turn out and after that all these value how many percent we can uh, fit in this place will see out the value i hope and if you see out the string string also then it will give the correct string output how many persons the correct new good string okay i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye